Hey everyone. I am on my way to Disney again. This is uh, the pin trading night event. It's tonight at Disney's Coronado Springs. So it's a little event, not the huge one. It's coming up in August. But first, I wanted to stop at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> because my dad had got a flyer in the mail and it had a birthday cake, I think, donut. And I don't like donuts necessarily. I mean, you know, I have, I eat them. I have eaten them. It's been like over a year, but I do like anything like cake batter or birthday cake. So I really wanted to try it. The flyer kind of looked at me for like a week and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go try one. So I'm here, I'll show you. Dunkin' Donuts, it's been so long. I know lots of good coffees made here and donuts, Ooh. You know, those look like the picture with the soft sprinkles on it. I cannot wait to try it. Cake batter donut. It looks so yummy. Look with the pastel sprinkles. Ooh, and it has lots of icing. I don't know. What is it like cake batter inside? Mmm. Ooh, yeah. See, it's filled with something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So the inside is like cake batter. It tastes like, you know, like you would eat the raw cake batter on the inside. But the icing is super yummy. But it's so much icing, it kind of covers the cake batter taste. It'd be good if it was covered with cake batter icing, wouldn't it? But gosh, you know what? I really, I could eat this whole thing. It is really good. But it doesn't like thrill me enough to know that all the bad stuff in here so I'll probably have a few more bites and then just throw it away mm. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Disney now it um, is 4 16 and the registration starts at 4 and the event starts at 5 it's 5 to 9 so I'm gonna be there and it's really cool it's $15 a person they have it at Disney World and Disneyland now these pin trading nights I used to do years ago when we first moved down here, they used to do them for free and they had it open at um, one of the resorts for all the guests who were staying there and all the locals who, who lived around there to come and trade and it was really big and it was really fun and those were the best pin trading memories. Um, but now the spaces are limited so you have to go on to Disney's website and you know reserve your space and it, like I said it's $15 but you get a treat. Um, it's been a long time since I've been to one, and I don't think I ever really like participated in even longer, you know, by trading and stuff. So I'll show you everything tonight, but you get a treat, and you get to see the preview of the upcoming pins. That's what I'm so excited about. I love seeing all the new releases and taking photos, so I can show you guys on Instagram. If you guys want to see my Instagram, it's everything mousy pins, I think just all together. And um, they're having Wally pins released. At these shows, they release or have been releasing special like anniversary pins. This time it's Wally's anniversary. And to get them, you, you know, you go to the event either at Disneyland or Walt Disney World and you RSP. And um, at the end of both events, if they have any of them left over, I think they'll put them in the parks for sale. But that's a really cool also bonus. And you get to meet lots of people in pin trade, pin trade your heart out. So can't wait got my Wawa coffee I had approximately three or four bites of the donut but actually the inside frosting stuff was kind of salty I didn't like it but the outside frosting was good so I just kind of nibbled along the thick frosting edge mmm but I threw it away and got my coffee because I'm super hyped up and I don't need any more caffeine probably in my body well, I don't really have any in there but no, oh, I'm gonna get it in my body cuz I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be like oh, to everyone and all crazy you know <laughs> More crazy than normal. Uh, I just left the Wawa and I turned right on this road. It's called Avalon. And it's a lot of the locals, like cast members use it because it's a little cut over right here to Disney. And it kind of comes out like um, the little back cast roadway next to, right next to Coronado Springs. This is where I'm going, so I'll show you. There's a new resort and water park, the Grove, that is built here. And there's some little like condominiums here that are, I think they're cheap and they're, they did use say rent to own. So if you guys are looking to move here, it's called Palisades Resort. And right here is the road you turn on, Hartzog. 
you can see a lot of these uh, those will be congested with cast members who get off work and come this way and then we'll be right at the end of this road at almost at Disney and right here at the end is Western Way which is um, just started developing more in the last I don't want to say few years five years no and this is where you turn to go to Disney World Walt Disney World where dreams come true oh I remember seeing this sign on my vacation trying to stop take pictures of it that was way back when you know they didn't have all the signs everywhere enforcing the no stopping because of everyone stopping and taking pictures oh, I'm so excited almost there it's 439 Coronado it looks busy that's the new part of the new uh, resort they're building here it looks really massive and pretty I cannot wait to look around once it's finished what did I bring with me well I have my ever probably tacky huge hip pouch or whatever you call it that I just put all my stuff in I have my pin backpack um, which I'm glad I made, you know, months ago and had ready and sewn up and everything. That's done. I can show you guys inside later, you know, in what I brought with the pins. Ah, blah, blah, blah. my camera, my better camera. This is my the original uh, Canon, what is it like T3i or TSI? I don't know what it is. It's awesome. It's what I use for my pictures in my pin store. I have a mint in my mouth like a chipmunk. So if you, you know, <laughs> the camera I use in my store for my pins because it takes excellent up close um, pictures. And we used to use a DSLR when we vlogged, but it's so heavy and the zooming, the focusing in and out was a pain and it was blurry half the time. So this is like the vlogging camera. This I brought because I wanted to show close up pictures of the pin releases when I make a video. I'm making a video and this vlogging camera, it just doesn't get super close or details. So I'm going to carry that heavy thing around and give myself a migraine. Oh, I'm trying to get the door open one handed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A line. This is exciting. The long line. Lots of pin traders. How much time do you have? They're going down the line and they're wristbanding and they're scanning a little QR code, which I was going to show you, but I forgot to. A little code they can scan. And they gave us our treats and our wristband. And they started letting them in. Okay, I have to admit, I'm really nervous. I don't know why. It's stupid because I've been going to these for years, but it's been like at least a year and a half or two since I've actually like been to an event and traded and in my book I put a lot of um, normal pins so in case you guys are wondering like if you can come to one of these events and take you know like common booster pins or um, like mystery pins or like the common ones I brought them and we'll see I know there's all kinds of traders and I could have made a better book but I just didn't really want to but I'll show you what I brought yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. I stay here in line for the upcoming release board because that's what I'm most thrilled about. There's the tables. There's a line for the pins that you purchased, like the Wally pins this time. 